with a nationwide annuity, you can get protected monthly income for the rest of your life. That's what I'm talking about. How about those song lyrics? What song? Excuse the technical difficulties on this video, but today's game from Houston has been sponsored by Nationwide Insurance. Yeah, yeah, same thing. So with a nationwide annuity, you can get protected monthly. Today's teams are at two opposite ends of the spectrum. The Patriots are sitting pretty at 2-0. and And believe it or not, tied with some competition in the AFC East and the Buffalo Bills, who are also at 2-0 with an upset win over Seattle last week. They will be going into town in Houston to have their first road game of the year against the 0-2 Texans. You best believe they're going to be hungry for a win this afternoon. And while we're at it, at uh, NRG Stadium where Kevin Harlan and Rich Gannon are going to be on the call. Today's uniform preview presented by PA Sports and the brand new Madden NFL 20. The Houston Texans will be rocking the dark blue colored brush threads today. The New England Patriots will be in their road whites in today's game here on CBS. This guy. Happy that football season is back. Tomorrow on ESPN, you can watch a live stream of the Broncos Raiders game from Oakland on Monday Night Football. As we go live to NRG Stadium, sign of Super Bowl 51, where out comes Brock Osweiler. To the roar of the Houston Faithful. It's an overcast day now here in Houston to see Osweiler and Bill O'Brien looking on. And not not Bill Belichick trying to fire his defense up. There you see the coin toss. Both teams captains. And the Texans have Patriots have won the toss. This time they have not deferred. They will be set to receive. It is believed that Danny Amendola will be recording kicks just like he did last week against Pittsburgh. Kick is off. Shane Letchler is going to send it in the air. We're underway from NRG Stadium. Amendola takes it out to 27. Or 29, I'm sorry. And out comes Tom Brady, who had a career night last Sunday in Pittsburgh. Lighting up the Patriots defense. Sorry, the Steelers defense for four touchdowns and Steven Gostowski getting the other three. Two passing touchdowns, two rushing touchdowns. What will week three look like? As the Garrett Blount charges ahead for a gain of about four that time. Let's go ahead and take a look at the offensive line presented by Snickers and the players to watch. The explosive LeGarrette Blount. To say the least, he is electric. And by the way, the Texans are going to do a draw play again as Blount dances around and plows through. As you look at the Texans' defense, and one name sticks out above the rest. Number 99, J.J. Watt. The human equivalent of Lawrence Taylor, he is easily one of the best defensive ends in the business. Third and five, Brady with his first pass of the game. Tries to go around, open to Chris Hogan, who gets the first down, is able to convert pretty easily. Texans have, just watching the Texans play, I mean, they had the same issue against the Rams last week. They've uh, been bit pretty heavily on uh, just defense in general. 
I mean, even after playing semi substandard teams like Tampa and Los Angeles, going up against a new real team like New England, you have to crank your defense up to 11. Otherwise, it's going to be a long game for you. As we go back to the line here, they are at the New England 45. Brady takes a snap, hands it to Blount, draws right side, tripped up, loses a couple yards right there. Smart player right there by uh, the defense, especially J.J. Watt, who is the one of the first picks in 2011. Over surprisingly, he wasn't drafted over Blaine Gabbert because how poor at seemingly quick he is and. Brady strikes Hogan and finally cracks the New England, the Houston territory. It was pleasant that was there on the stop, and it wasn't a pleasant stop. It was a clean slant route, trips him up. He anticipates that Hogan's going to go straight, and they tried to get a little bit of yards, but you just stripped him down right there. By the way, over in Tampa today, the only other early game so far, Went off a little earlier today. The Houston, the Denver Broncos, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Broncos look to go 3 0 today, just like the Patriots. Tampa is 1 1. So far, it has not gone so hot for Jameis Winston with the Tampa's opening drive being returned for a pick six by TJ Ward. That game can be seen over on Fox. And back here in Houston, that pass was incomplete. Looks like it was intended for Danny Amendola, another one of Brady's best weapons. Forty-five yard line. Second down and ten. Brady drops back and left side overthrew that one big time. Third and ten. Brady drops back. Gets his. He throws. Washington does not get the first. It was uh, like Kareem Jackson. No, Wash yeah, Washington had the reception. And Bouye was there on the stop. You saw Brady get hit there that last play as he threw it. I get that of Jack with his uh, so here comes the passing ability. So anyways, we're going to be back out and punting here for the Patriots, the first punt of the game. Allen going to try to pin him deep for a touchback. Oh, it's out the 10, so, so out comes Brock Osweiler, who actually watched the Broncos him on the Broncos in 2015. He can hold his own with Tom Brady, believe it or not. His uh, granted second time around with the Patriots wasn't so hot, but impressive is Lamar Miller tries to spin to the left. It's about a four yard gain there as we look at the Texans offense, sponsored by Snickers. And look at the, some of the receivers that Osweiler has. Hop, DeAndre Hopkins probably seems to be the best one that stands out as Osweiler goes back to pass. Deep to who else but Hopkins? The 2014 first round pick. Shot that one in there deep. I mean, had a lot of room. I mean, Butler wasn't on him. Number 91 wasn't on, the, on him. Amazingly, it wasn't a... That wasn't really picked, so that looked kind of dangerous. 
minute five left this afternoon here in Houston in the quarter. The Texans are at the 37. Osweiler to Lamar Miller. It's stopped immediately as we look at the Patriots defense, which in one word can be described as deadly. You got especially their secondary. You got guys like Patrick Chung, Malcolm Butler. Those guys could easily turn a game into something different as the ball was dropped. It was uh, TJ Fierowitz. Actually, no, Rob Ninkovich broke it up. It was third down and five. 19 seconds left, first quarter. And uh, by the way, the Broncos are up 21 7. Sorry, 21 0 over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers today. Hopkins, first down. Hopkins trying to escape, but he gets brought down by Collins, number 91. He's at the 42. I'd say what particularly sticks out about the Texan, the Patriots D is it's not really great, but you do have playmakers. It's not, you know, it doesn't stop the run pretty easily, but when they need to rise up and make a play, they do. So first quarter ends. It is currently a scoreless draw right now. We can thank the Patriots. Be they are currently scoreless right now. It is DeAndre Hopple on Cassidy Hopkins made a bit of a play here. Brock Osweiler is going to possess. As you look at the Patriots D earlier today, this is about uh, twelve thirty uh, local earlier today. Second quarter today here in Houston. Osweiler trying to move his team down the field. Trying to give his team a touchdown get the lead over the Patriots. So a nickel formation here for the defense. Patriots in a nickel package. Osweiler to Lamar. And he is stuck. Second and ten from the Houston forty-three. Osweiler back. He gets hit, and it was batted down by Malcolm Butler. That was definitely a bit of an ugly play there. As you saw, it looked like Hopkins is about to catch it. He got really lucky. Butler was able to, was uh, going to drop it. Otherwise, that would have been a pretty big brain fart by the Texans. Because as a receiver, you have to pay attention to who's on you. Same with the corner. If you turn around and look at the ball, that ball can easily either a fly over you and into your receiver's hands, or the ball can stop and land into the teeth of a defense like it almost did right there. It is McCourty, Devin McCourty, who's there on the stop.
Lechler is going to punt it. First time he's come out as a punter this year in this tournament. Did a lot of, a little bit of punting last week in Los Angeles. Yeah, so far, hopefully the Texans can land their first win of the year in their uh, home opener because they've been on the road the first two weeks. They have that 3 nothing shutout in Tampa. And... Uh, the 17-29 loss to Los Angeles is the Garrett Blounts. It's about two on that one. Second down and eights. Looks like Gronkowski is going to go in motion. Brady, screen pass. Blount trying to go, and he got knocked down for end of about seven that time by Kareem Jackson. So far, Brady's been firing on all cylinders. Very similar to his performance in Pittsburgh last week. Week four. Next few games for the Patriots will be against AFC West opponents. They're at home against the Chargers. That begins at 2.40. Coverage for that begins at 2.15 Eastern. And they have a Monday night game at the end of September against the Broncos out in Invesco Field. Brady, third and one, left side, Blount. It's the yardage. First and 10 from the Texans 36. Brady drops back, looks, and he's going to try to step, stepping around, fires. Caught by Amendola. One man to beat. He is three almost, but he's tripped up at the six. His uh, number 29 looked like he was a little disappointed he got burned there. Great awareness right there by Amendola. It's, it seems like the corner was anticipating an interception right here, but Amendola was just a few steps ahead of his man, and he took off. And I thought he was going to the house. Deion Lewis in a three that time. Is third, second down and goal. Cushing talking to what appears to be Bill O'Brien right now. So is the rest of the Texans defense going to look like they're going to go goal line. Brady looks like he is either Deion Lewis or the Garrett Blount to his right. Here's shotgun. That's for his man. Blocks. Look at the pocket. Brady. Sack. Vince Wilfork was there on the stop. The ex-Patriot. It's like he's trying to move. They might have trying to go play action or do a patented scramble drill, which Brady is known for. But at the same time, he kind of had to pay attention because Wilfork was ready to go. So third goal, they're going to have to pass at this point. Brady, Deion Lewis, right side. As he 
falls down at the two. Javion Clowney was there on the stop. Looks like the Patriots may go to the field goal unit here as Brady magically teleports back to the sideline. J.J. Watt thinking he can run he things. On see right Kostowski on the board. Garoppolo, the placeholder. As he puts it up to three. So Patriots are going to go up by three here. Here is J.J. Watt looking on. Part of the 0-2 Texans. Gostowski ready to mount his ball on the tee. Is the return is stopped at the 25 right there by Patriots special teams. I'm going to say Hightower. They're in a nickel formation. Tight end goes in motion. Osweiler drops back, takes a snap, fires it, shorts the third. Second down and four. So they're going to go. No huddle. If you remember from Osweiler's time in Denver as the backup, he did learn earn that trick from Peyton Manning. Good. Matter of fact, he was the pioneer of this kind of stuff with his patented Omaha play calling and how he huddles back every play. He did that way back to his time with the Colts. Third and fourth. Osweiler in a twin formation. Fires. Bowler. Caught. First down, Texans. Keep on grinding that ball down the field, gentlemen. Just a reminder, the Broncos are currently up by... 21 now. Texans have scored a touchdown and Broncos have scored a scored a rushing touchdown with Dylan Murray that was, went for 22 yards. I mean, it's easy to do. I mean, Denver's next game is going to be against LA on the during their road trip for coming back home week 5. And Tampa's next game, I'm going to have to look at their schedule again. This Osweiler goes deep, caught and same play as the Texans. This time he's down at the 12. Is they're going to huddle back. Keeping that defense tired. Which is quite susceptible. Osweiler drops back. Looks, fires, incomplete. Second and ten. So second and ten here. Shotgun formation. Osweiler drops, looks, fires Miller, and he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Question is, did his ball break the plane? We're going to have to look at replay. I think, did his ball break the plane? Let's go ahead and look. Go ahead and go back to our slow motion here. So, ball comes up. Watch Lamar Miller right here, number 26. Comes through, gets past his man. Now, watch this. Kind of going to be kind of hard to see because it's in a pile of defenders. He gets through and. I'm going to go back and look at it again. Fuck. Oh. 
Caught it. Breaks through. There's Col Lando Collins. And you see here, we're going to zoom in. We're going to watch the ball. And he was down, but the ball did get across. You can add seven to the board. Texans go up by four. Definitely unusual for Texans to do that against New England. We're getting ready for the kickoff. 26 seconds. Is it a squid to Gronk? Gronk forces himself to the 46. Third down and seven. 21 seconds to go for Brady. He's going to tie this up here. going to be a lot of back and forth here down the half. Brady drops, looks, tries to fire, looks, thinks about it, goes deep, and it falls incomplete. Is Kareem Jackson? I broke that up. Second and ten. Second down and ten. Screen. screen pass. Play out. Complete. Go back to that one. Got about 14 seconds here. Third and 15. Third and 15. Brady dumped it to Dion. He breaks free. And he's down 4 5. It's like they're probably going to call a timeout. Actually, they are going to call a timeout. Clock. This is going to be the last play of the half, so expect a huge heave to the end zone for Brady. And he's going to bring it. Edelman catches it. But it doesn't go. And we're going into halftime here. That is like the only successful Hail Mary we've seen this week. Aaron Rodgers started doing the same thing. He tied him up against the Broncos last week, but fell short. As you're watching the NFL on EA Sports as Tom Brady dances around the pocket and still finds a way to connect with Danny Phantom Amendola on this one. Brock Osweiler is going to connect with Lamar Miller. He's going to fight for the end zone. Texans go up by four. Brock Osweiler is going to heave it deep to his man on this one. Tom Brady is going to connect with his man on this one, and that's where we end the half. The Texans are currently up by four over Houston over the Patriots. However, everything really seems to lean towards the Pats, even though they're down by four. Speaking of which, the Texans will get the ball. It is my cue to hand my commentary off to Brandon Dodd and Charles Davis. Gentlemen.
everyone is lined up for the kickoff. Halftime over, time for quarter number three, and play resumes. And there's the stop at the 25 until the return ends. So first and ten, catches the snap out of the gun, gets some air underneath this one, and that one almost taken away by the defense, but it falls innocently to the ground. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way, so he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it, just move on to the next play. Second and ten. Looking for the play action pass. And that's a good play. And there's McCourty for the tackle. Mm -hmm. A beautiful job mm -hmm. by the quarterback selling the play action fake and finding an open receiver downfield. They're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and ten. Hand off to Lamar Miller. Tackle is made by Devin McCoy. Everyone's looking for the big Slow. runs, the explosive runs, the 20 to 30 yard plays. But anytime you're thinking of good yardage and setting yourself up on down and distance, offenses love that too. And now it's a third and four situation for the offense. And they'll try to scream. And that tackle right there is going to bring up fourth down. And that's one where you wonder, does the quarterback even bother throwing that ball? It's a great question, Brandon, because there were no open receivers, and the only one they could possibly get it to was behind the line of scrimmage. And now a punting situation after they completed the pass but a little shy of a line to gain. And there's a flag on the play. Evan Dola to return it. And able to pick up some good yardage. Two tight ends set this time. On the ground, it's blocked. Coverage there in a hurry, and down he goes immediately. The defense did a good job containing the run there and holding them to a short game. Second down, eight. It's a screen, and he brings it in for the catch. And the tackle by Jadavian Clowney. That one was whistled in there. If you're a receiver, you have to get your hands on it so it doesn't get to your body because that one is going to hurt.
third down and five. And it's the second time in this game he's been brought down behind the line of scrimmage. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came over. They tried to do everything that he'd been taught, right? Every bit of the technique, but no one's open. There is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball. But you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Defense does their job. They get the big sack on third, and now the punting unit on. Turn down by Buckley. 11 yards on that play. Yeah, you know, first to 10 now. They're going to tie in Chippy around. They'll try the ground game. And on the tackle, it's Dante Hightower. Second down at 12. Third down at 12. Shotgun snap. He's able to bring it in. And a big tackle to bring us to fourth down. He did a good job completing the pass, but obviously not good enough because it did not pick up the first down. So they get the pass completion on third down, short of the marker, and now they'll have to punt. Yeah. As you expect updates from nearby games today, the Buffalo Bills Saints are getting ready to kick off down in uh, Buffalo this afternoon. As always, Brandon Gond and Charles Davis have some amazing commentary back here at Don CBS. This third quarter has been a giant defensive mess as the third quarter has finally ended. The mercy of those who like offense. And by mercy, I mean mercy is a great stalemate. Is it's been a lot of incompletions by both sides, drop passes, drop interceptions, you name it. Fourth quarter, final act today here at NRG Stadium, final quarter of the game. Texans have a four-point lead over the Pats. Time to see what Tom Brady can do. I mean, he's down by four, but at the same time, you don't really have a lot of time, so you got to put to something a little smart. Yes, it was Chris. Somebody was down. Tom Brady threw somebody. Yeah, 
It was Garrett Blount. It was under the reception. Fight for those yards. That's what the offense will call a hard, dirty run. Everyone knew it was coming, but they still found a way to pick up the first down. As the t Patriots setting up deep, they're going to look to do a lot of passes while they, as they grind it out. And as Brady overthrew that one big time, I mean, you can tell he's starting to get a bit frustrated because he's starting to do a lot of crazy overthrows, like what he did just a few months ago to Danny, Danny Amendola, second down and 10. And as that one fell incomplete, Brady got knocked down. Later games today here on CBS, out in San Diego, you can catch the Chargers and the Rams for a score game for the young Jared Goff. Washington got stripped there, first and ten. Gronk, you know, surprisingly on offense, Gronk has been fairly quiet in this game, mostly serving as a blocker. Anyways, back to upcoming games tonight, today and possibly the part of tonight. Sunday Night Football will feature the Giants for a second time in three weeks and the Steelers for the second time back-to-back -back weeks as well. That game was flex in in favor of the Cowboys-Bengals game. Both teams are 0-2. Cowboys That's are actually playing right now. They're having quite a game as well, down there as well. As it was Gronkowski with his first reception on game, believe it or not. Edelman with the flag. That's coming back. That was big. They're back to the thirty seven. By the way, the uh, week three game, that's getting close to wrap. You know, Tampa is trying to make a comeback, but however, that uh, recent effort has been thrown by Chris Harris in reception deep as they march on down to the Broncos have been marching on down to the end zone. So far, they've been Hail Mary defenders. They defended two of Aaron Rodgers' Hail Marys in Green Bay in week, against Green Bay week two. And then they defended they did quite a few deep passes against uh, Jameis Winston with four interceptions on him. One from TJ Ward, that was a pick six. Two from Tlaib, and one from Harris that just came through a few moments ago. And close to the two-minute warning. Time started to get a little tight as Deion Lewis fights through. For the first down. And it is first and ten. The offense certainly looking to score some points 
Brady drops, looking for some security and insurance. Fires incomplete. He's passed for two, almost 200 yards in this game. Kind of surprising to see him just really force a lot of these mistakes. Really get him going. As he goes, and it's caught. What a play. What a play in clutch situation right there for Tom Brady and his man. What a catch right there. We have finally hit the two-minute warning after a huge uncorking of the ball late to get down to the eight-yard line. What a move. Blount to the six. Keep grinding that no huddle and make him tired, boys. Pistol look. Brady drops, looks, pays attention, throws it because he got hit. They're going to have to do something with a run play. They are in the red zone. Brady jumps, looks for his man. Washington is in for the touchdown. Patriots. Gonna have to hold sturdy here. Minute 44. They're gonna hold real sturdy over the Texans right now. Yes, sir. We're <laughs> looking to blossom out in the end zone. Is he going for the PAT? Steven Gostowski. Garoppolo, place kicker. And that's in. We're getting ready for this one. Brady is going to send this one deep. And he'll get it to 28. They're in a dime package here. Osweiler, three step, looks. Gonna have to scramble, but he gets brought down. Going no huddle. Uh, we will take you out to Cardi the. LA game if you're in certain markets. After we will take you out to the you're not in those markets, we'll take you out to the regional game of the week. Which is obviously the other game on CBS. As that was nearly a huge game killer by uh, Malcolm Butler. As minute 21, Osweiler drops, looks, fires, and it's incomplete. And 
Fourth and 12. They're going to have to go big or go home. Osweiler, shotgun. Made it happen, but there's a flag. Chung was there on the stop. And it looks like it's another one on offense. Offensive pass interference, maybe. Oh, what a mistake there. For the Texans. It's a rookie move to do that. Osweiler tosses. Lamar Miller gets stopped. And that does it for the page for the Texans. What a play. And they're going to probably run the clock out, it looks like. Getting close to the end of this game here. Patriots are getting close to probably going 3-0, and it looks like. Because they got a couple games against AFC West teams coming up. One against San Diego and one in Denver. All right, so the Minute one. By the way, the Tampa and Denver game is wrapped up just a couple moments ago. That game ended in a 45-21, essentially manslaughter of Jameis Winston as the Broncos go to 3-0, and Tampa goes to 1-2. and Vince Wilfork was there on the delay. The or probably gonna be burning out some clock here. Texans are gonna call a timeout. See the offensive lineman talking to Nate Soldier, JJ Watt talking to Bill O'Brien. And they got 15 games. Colts are 2 0, Texans are 0 2. You're getting a lot of opposite ends of the spectrum so far in this tournament. I mean, it's kind of shocking to see that. The AFC North doesn't have any clear winners. However, if we go to divisional standings as of right now, Broncos and Patriots, if the playoffs were to start today, would most likely be the one and two seeds. Third and nine, Brady, Lewis, spin move. Fourth and three, JV on Clowney. Is there on the stop? They get a little bit of a stop, however, the Texans may have killed themselves just now. Texas Patriots going to try for three, and it is through. Osw expect Osweiler to try a lot of no huddle. I 
As Gostowski kicks it off. And it is caught by Mumphrey at the one. Mumphrey takes it out 20 and he gets drilled. Now we wait. Can the Texans put and Bill O'Brien put together a comeback? Osweiler drops, fires, overthrew that one big time. Every time you passed away. Second down and ten. Offense still leading ten yards. Second down. Osweiler looking. Swimming around, fires for the homer, incomplete. Third down and ten. A lot of overthrows in today's game. And so far, you look at the point standings in terms of points scored. The Broncos seem to have a pretty crushing lead over the Pats. However, obviously, with their 31 point cruise fast on Sunday night football, that may take the lead as he almost got picked off. Fourth and ten. Two words, Osweiler. Uncork. That was almost ugly right there. Looks like. Is that Chung that ran into him that last play? I believe so. That looked helmet helmet. And Chung has obviously left the field. Osweiler drops back, looks for protection, uncorks it deep, and it's caught. What a play right there. They're going to go over the fake spike. Now to try a touchdown and to go to two, they could upset New England. And Houston could get say they got the first win against one of the toughest teams in the league. Because you're expecting uh, Chargers and Rams, we will take you out there as soon as we're done with this game on CBS. Mine, once we get this game done, is we are at the game's final play, and it is caught, batted away. Incomplete. Play did almost everything right. Excellent coverage. Breaks on the football. Just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now. Don't dwell on it. Looks like Mumford was going to have it because it bounced off Butler's shoulder and landed right in his chest. And it fell to the ground. Seven seconds. You have to get a touchdown here to win. Osweiler drops back. This is the game's final play right here, and it is incomplete. Three seconds left. Everybody in Houston is chewing through fingernails, knowing the feeling that they could unseat the Patriots for the first time since 2009. They could be the team that does it. They could either force overtime or they could tie it. Osweiler drops. Game's final play. And it is dropped. Dropped. Texans fall to 0-3. Patriots go 3-0. What a late second drama field game that could have tied it. There's a lot of slipped interceptions. Final score today from Houston. New England, 13. Houston, 7. Pats go to 3-0. and They have a home game against the Chargers Week 4 before coming back out west to face the Broncos on Monday Night Football. Texans, Week 4. They have a game against the Steelers out in London. So it could be a long start for them. However, the Steelers haven't been faring so hot. 
And week five, they have a matchup against the New York Giants on the road on Sunday night football. Final score, Patriots 13, Houston 7.